Hi, welcome to Soft and GUI's UX Toolbox. My boss has just asked me to build a complete set of wireframes and a working prototype model for a new iPhone running app he wants to demonstrate at a meeting he's having tomorrow morning. Problem is, it's already mid-afternoon and I'm supposed to be going out for dinner tonight. Okay, this scenario hasn't really happened, but what if it had? Let's start off by opening a new solution. First, we need to select an Apple iPhone from the list of templates UX Toolbox has available. Immediately, our new template is loaded into the drawing area. We can start building our first wireframe straight away by dragging UI elements from the control panel onto the template. Let's begin by adding a home screen, followed by an application icon. Before going any further, let's use the properties panel to rename the application icon to read Run Buddy. That's it, our first wireframe is done already. Now let's build our second screen. Notice this time we don't need to look for the iPhone template, it was in our recent list. It might be nice if our second screen displayed a summary of all the runs the user will have completed to date. Let's start building the screen by adding an info bar, and whilst we're at it, let's make it dark. Now let's add a header bar, and using the properties panel again, rename the caption to read Home. It might also be a good idea if we add a tab bar, so the user can easily navigate to the different sections of the app. Once we've aligned it, we can rename and edit the tabs. We do this by double-clicking on the bar to open its editor, then simply select each tab in turn to rename it. Let's call them Home, History and Settings. Finally, I think we will only need three tabs, so let's delete the last tab in the bar and click OK. Now let's add a menu panel to display our summary information. Again, let's quickly align it before renaming the menu items. The menu items can be renamed by again double-clicking the control to open its editor and selecting each item one by one. Let's call them Total Miles calories, and number of runs. Now let's add another item to the bottom of the menu and call it average speed. At this point, we could customize the menu items, turning them into sub-menus or on-off buttons, etc. But I think for our running app, they'll be just fine if we leave them as they are. Thinking about it, it may be a good idea to check if we are displaying all the information we need. Let's add a quick note so we don't forget to check. To do this, we simply click the Add Comment button on the toolbar and enter our note in the window that appeared. Once happy, we can position and resize our note so that it looks nice and neat on the screen. It might also be a good idea to add a Start button to our home screen so the user can jump straight into recording a new run. Let's get a large button from the control panel and add it to our screen. We should also rename its caption to read Start New Run. Second screen done. Our third screen is going to be very similar to our second screen, so let's just duplicate the second screen and rename it Sheet 3. Now let's quickly delete the UI elements we don't want, and rename the caption on the header bar to read History. This time let's add a list control to our screen, and make sure it is lined up underneath the header bar. We're going to need more items in our list to fill the screen, so let's double click the list and add them in now. Done. Now all we need to do is bring the tab bar to the front. OK, let's skip through the construction of the next few screens and rejoin our solution just in time to see how to turn our wireframes into a prototype. A collection of wireframes can be turned into a prototype by selecting the different UI elements or sub-elements and using the properties panel to specify which screen the user will go to when they are clicked. Let's quickly finish this process off with the tab bar followed by the Start New Run button. We've already completed connecting up our other screen, so all that's left to do is to click play and start running through our prototype. It would be really nice if we could add some annotation to our screens to explain how our running app works. Let's exit presentation mode and go back to our wireframes. Using the description panel at the bottom of the window, we can add simple descriptions to each of our screens. Let's quickly paste in some lorem ipsum for now, but in real life we can enter whatever we like. UX Toolbox also lets us add description tags to our wireframes to describe areas of interest or complexity. Let's add a couple of tags to our home screen to describe where the summary information is being pulled from, and also what happens when the start button is pressed. That's it, we're all done. One final thing, let's swap over to high res mode so we can get a richer appreciation of the finished app. Obviously we could spend a bit more time on themes, styling and adding icons etc. But there we are, a working prototype of an iPhone running app complete with comments and annotation created from scratch in just a few minutes. All that's left for me to do is to thank you for listening and invite you to download our free trial. Thank you.